Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look into the NiFi UI. Once you open NiFi, this is the screen that you will see. So there are multiple options available. Let's go through them one by one. You can see one screen called as a navigate inside this. If you want to go to any particular uh, process group, you can just drag, drag it any in any direction and you can see a process group or a label or any of the flow that you have created. Below it, it will show you the component that you are in. So currently, if you see, it says that I am in the NIFI flow process group. We will talk about process group in details. Now, if I am going to click on this, it will say that you are currently into the label called as uh, NIFI UI. Inside this, you can see multiple options available. So. If you see, I have written multiple things like NIFI UI, process group, processors, and other things that we are going to discuss in this uh, series. At the top, you can see multiple components available. You can see a processor, input port, output port, process groups, funnels, templates. We are going to discuss all of them in detail. Towards the right, if you see, there are multiple options available as well. So you can see the summary of your NIFI, like what all things are happening inside this, what all components are available, how much data has been flown inside those components and how much data has been processed and uh, came out of those components. You can see the option of templates as well. So in NIFI, like I mentioned in the earlier video that we can have some reusable templates. So if you want to, see those templates you can come to this screen you can delete the template you can download the template and there are other options available as well if you see there is something called as a data provenance we will discuss this in detail in the coming videos all the errors that comes in the NIFI uh, flow you will see them in the bulletin board so let's get started with the concept of a process group in NIFI everything comes under the process group. If you are at the uh, root screen, you will see something called as a NIFI flow. This is also called as a root process group. Whenever you want to create a flow, you first create a process group. Let's say I am going to create a process group called as a sample process group. And all the flow I am going to create under this process group. So when this process group is created, I can double click on it and you will see another blank screen. At the bottom, you can see that I am under the NIFI flow, which is my root process group, and I have created a new process group called a sample process group. Inside this process group, I am going to create my complete flow. There is a concept of a processor, which will be used to transform the data, read the data from one source, and move it to another source. So once you do a drag and drop here, you you will be asked like what you want to do so let's say i want to create a dummy flow there is a comp component called as a generate flow file we will talk about flow files in detail but let's say i want to just create something and i just want to write it in a file location so let's say i'm going to use the generate flow file processor and I am going to write the output generated from this processor into some file. So let's say I want to write into my local file system. So I use the put file processor. Now these are two different processors. Purpose of each processor is to do some task. So but purpose of this processor is to generate some data. Double click on this processor. You can see there are multiple options available. We will discuss them in detail. But first let's go into the properties. In the properties, it is asking for some of the uh, configuration. It is asking for the data format. We can say that I want to keep it as a text format. You can also create a binary format as well. It asks that whether you want to create a unique flow file. I want to keep it false for now. And let's say I want to create a, some custom text saying that this is my first NIFI flow. Okay. 
this will generate some uh, random files with this particular information. Once you have created the generate flow file processor and you have given all the information that you want, you can connect it to the put file processor, something like this. Once you are connected to the put file processor, if you see that there is a red, red option available over here, whenever you can see the this particular red screen, it means that once you have connected, you can see that this particular sign goes red, which means that this processor is ready to get started. I am going to just make sure that this processor runs only once. So I'll give you a schedule of 6,000 seconds so that it doesn't run again. Otherwise, it will keep on generating the file until it is dropped. In the put file processor, you can see that there's a warning sign. Let me see what it says. It says that this process is currently invalid. The reason being, we have not terminated these relationships. We will talk about this in detail. For now, I'm just going to take on these options. In the property, you can see that the output directory is currently empty. So let us give some path over here so that all the files generated by the generate profile processor will go into this particular location. Let me uh, choose some path. Okay, so we are going to write all the data inside the output. Let me give the path call as let me uh, give the path call as sample, and we expect that all the files will be uh, stored in this location. If you see other options, it says that uh, what if the file with the same name already exists? In that case, what do you want? Do you want to replace it, ignore it, or fail it? For now, we will keep it fail. And if the directories are missing, do you want to create those directories? I will say true. If you see that the sample directory is not available in this particular folder, so it will create the sample directory. Now you see that all the signs for the warning has been gone and you can just start the processor. To start the flow, you can directly click on the empty screen and say start. Or if you want to start the flow one by one, you can just click on a particular processor. You can right click and say start. If, if you see, if you refresh it, you can see that one flow file is generated. If you want to write this into the target location, you just start this processor as well. If you see, this particular task is completed. And I should expect a sample folder inside output. And you can see there is some file generated over here. To see the content of this file, let me open it in the Notepad++. If you see, we have given the text, uh, this is my first NiPy flow inside the generate flow file processor. And that particular flow generated some flow files. And those files are now stored in the sample folder inside the uh, out, output directory. Now, once you are done with everything, you can just stop it by clicking on the stop button when you, <clears throat> or you can just go directly over here and stop the flow. This will stop the all the processes in the process group. 